What is up guys? Right here with the Native 5 and S90V and I got a special video for you today. We are going to do Knife Mods Episode 3. <laughs> I'm excited. And the reason why I'm excited is I am not endorsed. I wasn't paid. This is coming out of my own pocket. But I was given permission by them to put their website in the description and to send this video to them. Um, I'm working with Rips Garage Tech. And we are going to modify this, um, this Native 5. Sorry. So we, as you can see, this is kind of like also an unboxing. We're going to see what comes in here. Oh, 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 look at that. Look up, uh, ready? Are you guys ready for the reveal? Fluted titanium. Oh my goodness, in a dark wash. It looks so good. Oh wow. And in here, the matching fluted titanium clip. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna be so exciting. Uh, okay, so what are we gonna be using today? Well, I have my bit driver here with my bits. I got my all my torque wrenches and everything. We got some cleaner. Um, you know, I, I know recently I haven't been exactly talking great about a certain company, but um, this cleaner actually is really good. It smells great and it, uh, it does a really good job. As you can see, I'm almost out of this. So I did get a new one. Um, I also have blue lube the actual lubricant but i also have kpl which um i actually just opened this because i lost my other one so i may use the kpl i may use the blue lube it it's neither in here nor there with that um i have a handkerchief from mighty hanks i'm not endorsed by any company in this video as you can see it's nice and dirty because i use this microfiber cloth a lot and then of course we got the s90v native 5 which right now, actually, the last time you guys saw this, it had a um, the stock clip on it. And um, when I got this knife, I technically got it secondhand from somebody. We did a trade. And uh, they included, actually, no, I'm lied. It was a different knife. Um, it was actually my other Native 5, which I don't know where that went. Anyways, it doesn't matter. When I when I traded for my other Native 5, they included a lynch clip. I Well, they said it was a lynch clip. I mean, um, but I didn't really care for it. So I took it off and I was like, you know, I kind of want to try it again. So I, I was trying it again. But honestly, I mean, it's cool in some ways. It's got some good things. But this isn't about the lynch clip. This is about modifying the Native 5. And I'm so excited. I've never taken apart the Native 5 before. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I, as you know, I've taken apart a few other knives. Uh, I just wanted to do a little unboxing because look at this. Look, they, they actually <clears throat> um, sealed the two shut so that the two are nice. They're not clinking around against each other. Um, they have their, if you want to go to ripsgaragetech.com. I, like I said, I will put in the description um, their, their website. Um, but man, you know. Proudly made in Chippewa Falls, which is absolutely awesome. You know, made right here in the United States. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make sure my cloth is here. And I'm going to start getting my bit drivers out. Now for this, now this is going to be a long video, guys. So buckle up, have some fun. You know, if you got a, uh, if you got a, a root beer next to you, or um, if you have a, uh, some cranberry juice or whatever it is, you know, feel free to bust it out. Um, I have a Dr. Pepper near me, so I'm excited about that. I love Dr. Pepper. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the clip. Okay, guys, so I am not going to re-record the intro over. Um... My phone glitched and then it stopped recording. But in that time, all I did was take off the, the pocket clip. That was it. So um, we're going to keep continuing on. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I don't want to lose anything, um, I'm pulling off the also the 
the T6 because I believe the rest of it is a T10. So I have the original pocket clip that was given to me with the S90V. So I want to keep everything together. Now, the new clip comes with screws, so I am going to use their screws. Obviously, they're longer, so I'm going to need the extra length. And um, because I'm going into their scales, sometimes they know what screws are better with that go into their scales. It may just be, oh, our, you know, it's just the screws are screws, whatever. But I rather, I rather use um, their screws. So I got a T10 here. I'm just going to verify. Yep, it's a T10. I kind of figured that. I couldn't remember. Sometimes I don't re always remember off the top of my head. We're going to remove the pivot screw. Now, I am going to be re uh, reusing all these other screws. So because of that, uh, clink, 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 clink. <laughs> I got a lot of clinking going on. I have this metal bowl that is magnetized. So I could put all the stuff in there that I need. So I'm going to remove that. Oh, these are a different size. See, I've only messed with the pivot. The pivot was a, a T10. Now I got to see what size these are. These might be a T8 because I thought the T6 was running around in that or rolling around. So, oh, uh, are they? No, they might be a T6 actually. I might, I might have been wrong. No. Okay. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Maybe it was a T8 and I just did not fit it in correctly. Let's see. Holy cow. Whoever had this thing done last, they cranked these down. Let's see if I can get this one. See, with T's, you don't want to overdo it because you didn't have this issue. Unless they put that red Loctite in. Now, in this situation, I have a one of these, and normally I don't care for these as much, but these will give me the extra leverage that I need in order to break this. And I don't mean break as in break the knife. <laughs> break as in whatever... Wow. So that actually stripped out on me. Son of a gun. You know, guys, uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't over crank these. There's no reason for it. Look at that one. That one came out fine. There's no issue with that side. Actually, I could probably just even use this one. There we go. Let's see if this one. Yeah, look at that. That came right out. <clears throat> So now I might have an issue where, even though this is a T10, I'm just going to pull it out anyways, but the, the T8 came out. So now I might have an issue with this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to leave that one for now until I can figure out a better way of getting that out. Because as you can see, this actually bent on me. I don't know if you could see that, but it actually bent on me, which is fine. Things happen. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to lightly and gently get these G10 scales off, which I have no problem with G10. So you might be asking, well, if you like the knife, why are you changing it out? I thought it would be kind of cool. Wow, look at that. To go to something a little different, something titanium. I actually really like titanium knives. So I thought, hey, let's do a, let's do a titanium knife. Now I'm going to clean these at clean everything as I go along because that is a good thing to do. I'm going to clean I'm going to clean the G10 handle a little bit before I go and put it away. Because so you know, just giving a little extra clean doesn't hurt. So I'm going to put that in the same bag as this so if I ever want to go back for whatever reason, I can. As you can see, that just came right off. <laughs> and there is the inside. So we're going to clean that off. That was a heavy spring. Here's the... Uh,
other washer. Sorry, I, I should be talking as I'm going through this, but I am not talking. Uh, let's see. So now we got to get this pin out on this side, which is fine. We'll just, just take it very slowly <laughs> or aggressively. Okay, so there's the lock bar. Now, I will say this. Most natives or most lockbacks, the this part is fitted very very securely with that so if you ever decide to switch blades like if you're like oh like for example if i if i've actually found my g10 my other one if you're like oh i, I like the black g10 better i want to flop the s90v onto this and you know flop blades make sure you also switch the the back as well the lock bar because they are fitted to the actual knife and everything else. So here's the knife blade. We're going to put this off to the side for now. And now we just got to get this out of here. And then the last piece is the spring, obviously, which is I'm having an issue with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of just needle nose pliers, just lightly grab it and just see if I can just wiggle it out. And I can without marring or damaging that which is great now we're going to have an issue with this so i have a bigger wrench here or bigger screwdriver here that will take the same bit sometimes just needing that little extra oh look at that a little extra torque perfect look at that lock bar came right out with the the spring i mean came right off so we're going to put that down and the screw came right out. Look at this, guys. I don't think I've had... Oh, I'm not going to jinx it. I am not going to finish it. If you finish that statement out there... Oh, 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 I swear. No, I'm just kidding. Um, This is a family-friendly show. No, that, honestly, I do this channel because... um, I love my kids. I do. And... You know, I, I hope one day I'll have grandkids, obviously, but I mean, I'm still pretty young for grandkids. Uh, my kids are actually still pretty young, even in general. So um, I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. But I um, will say that I, uh, you know, if my kids ever found my videos, then they would be able to look back at stuff and see what their dad did. Look at that. RGT USA. I, these are beautiful, man. They feel amazing. I love the fluted carbon fiber. It feels great. It feels absolutely great. And I'm not just saying this. Like I said, the company is not endorsing me at all, which they're, but they're very nice people. I talked to them for a little bit. They, they emailed me and stuff like that. And very nice. So we got the pivot in there. Just one. I just want to see how everything fits. I know the washer goes first, but I want to see how everything fits before I start throwing stuff together. Um, because sometimes that is a big deal. Look at that. And it look, it's even recessed. See, that, that was the other problem I had. Okay, where is it? So if you see on the my M4 G10, you see how it, the, the pins are nice and flush with the G10 scales? They weren't like that on the other one, which I was a little shocked about and i was kind of wondering if it may have been just something with the scales but and i think it might have been because on this there seems to be no issue at all which is really great okay so it looks like we're put in the washer and we get this in here now what i want to do first uh, no no i'm gonna do it after after I do this part. Okay. I'm going to do it after I do this part. Don't worry. I won't sing the whole time. Let's see. So we got to line up that. There's like a, a D. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a D. So we got to line that up. And it's hard looking at the camera to make sure I'm in the screen. And look at the actual thing to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Hold on guys. Hey guys, sorry about the pause. Uh, my kid had a question for me. Um, so I got the pivot in with the washer, which is great. Now we have to get this in. Now here's the thing. 
uh, and bicycles and, and and bicycles are different obviously but with bicycles the thing that you want to do is everywhere there's metal and this is just kind of like a thing with like i said with bicycles i will say that again with bicycles wherever there's metal on metal contact you kind of want to lube it up a little bit not much just a little bit so i got the lock bar on there look at that boop 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 Give that a little lube in there to make sure that goes nice and smooth. And I got some on the other side, so I'm going to put a little bit on this side. Okay, not much, just a little bit. Okay, so now we have the spring. Okay, so with a with this type of system, a lockback type system, you have a spring that pushes down that will it'll push it down like that to get everything to place to, to hold it into place so now we need to find our okay so those are our pivot screws and so i need to find some of the t6s and everyone's probably screaming at the screen like no do this first well i'm sorry guys i cannot hear you and i apologize if i'm doing something that you don't like okay so now we're going to, T8 screws. I'm sorry, I said T6 again. I'm in T8. So I'm just going to lightly, lightly, very so lightly snug it. Not going crazy. I don't know why. You don't need to crank everything down right away. and Because things are going to move. Things are going to adjust. We're going to lightly snug it. So these are both nicely snug. We got that right there. Okay. Now it's time to get the blade in. Now, just like before, I'm going to lightly lube this. Not a lot. I don't need to go crazy. You don't need to go crazy with the lube. Sometimes you can over lube stuff, okay? Now, I am going to push down on the lock bar. I'm going to get this in. I'm going to place it in. Oh, I wonder if that's a date code. 917 see okay look at that let's you guys want a stink peek let's let's do a stink peek oh <laughs> oh, oh, oh man that looks good so i'm gonna get the pivot in here now i'm just gonna do the pivot on the one side just to hold it all together like I said, just snug, nothing crazy. Man, that looks good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted by how good that looks. Okay, so now we're gonna put some more lube over here, just a little bit. I was actually a little bit, probably too much, but I will push it around, push it around. Okay, got the washer on this side. And we're gonna put that there. <laughs> yes, <clears throat> okay. Now let's get the other scale. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Ready, guys? Let's get this on here. Oh, my good! It fits amazing. Holy crap. Wow. That. Wow. Okay. So... If this is your first video, or if you haven't seen any of my other my knife mod videos and stuff like that, I did a knife mod episode one, which you can find it on my channel. I actually modified a um, a paramilitary two, and it did not go amazing. It really didn't. It it I had a bunch of issues. Um, there was a little bit of this, a little bit of that things happen, but it really just didn't go very well. And it turned to be out to be a very long, long, long video. And, and I apologize still. It was, I was excited about doing it. Um, but it just didn't turn out very well. Anyways, long story short, this thing has come together so easily so effortlessly okay now we are going to now snug up just snug not crank i'm just snugging up all four sides of these 
excuse me, of these screws, I had a hiccup there. Hiccup as in I hiccup, not. Now, what's cool is you can get these obviously in right, right tip up carry stuff like that. You you have to you have to go to their website and you select what you want. So um, I selected because I am a righty, so I selected right hand carry tip up because that's how I like to carry my knives. Now I'm gonna just tighten up this pivot on one side, tighten up this pivot on the other. Nothing crazy, just a little bit because I don't want to overdo one side. Oh my goodness. The feeling, the sturdiness, the just in your hand. I mean, that, the carbon fiber, I'm going to say carbon, sorry, if you don't know this, uh, Spyderco has a fluted carbon fiber, so I, when I'm thinking of the fluted titanium, I said carbon fiber. Um, wow. Okay, I have to adjust the pivot a little bit more so I could do my reverse flick on it, which I don't need to do it, I just... I just like to do it. So I'm going to tighten up that side a little bit. and Let's see how... Look at that. Dead center without even trying. Flick open, reverse flick. I'll have to get that. Wow. I mean, it did add some weight. But I, I to me, the weight is, is welcomed. It's a welcomed weight. Okay, so now we're going to add on the matching fluted titanium clip which i believe that they actually may have did they seal this oh no no i'm just a weakling no <laughs> i just didn't know and obviously they give you a, a some stickers which is absolutely awesome uh, we got to cut out the screws that they have here which is fine look at that i'm using the knife already look at that clip I, okay. And the sturdiness of that clip. Wow, that feels good. And and I'm not I'm not cranking on it, but that that feels very sturdy. Obviously, you lose your ability to have a lanyard hole, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. I don't really use the lanyard hole anyways. I used to use lanyard holes, but um I find that they just didn't do anything for me. What size is this? Okay, so this is also a T8. I always put in the middle one first. You could do whatever you want. I just put in the middle one first. And then I leave it loose, very loose, because the other ones you gotta find the other holes. Oh. I okay, so deep carry versus non-deep carry. Honestly, it's a personal preference. And for everyone saying, oh, deep carry clip, deep carry clip. Yeah, you know, sometimes a deep carry clip is nice. You know, it's a little more concealable. It's a little more, you know, people don't notice it now really fast. So, I mean, there is with the other, with the normal, with the normal clip, this thing, if you have these loose, it this could look over this way or that way. This thing is rock solid. They machine these very well, very well machined. Holy cow, very well machined. And everything is nice and tight, not overly tight, just tight enough. Everything is centered. Rips gear tech. And and I I, I was on the different forums and stuff trying to find out who makes a uh, <coughs> um a native five. I wonder if I can get a more light on this. Look at that. Look at it. What'd you look at it? These blades. That is beautiful. Let's see. Let's feel the hot spot area. So you can, uh, you know, this clip, that's a hot spot area, in my opinion. No, I can't even feel the clip. For some reason, I mean, not that I don't like the. I don't mind the non-deep carry clips from Spyderco, but you could definitely, I mean, as great as they are, you could definitely feel that clip in your hand a little bit. You know, it's not terrible, um, but you could you could feel the clip in your hand. I mean, I'm not going to lie. 
it, it's not as bad as other ones. Definitely not as bad as other ones. There are some out there that like the clip is the thing that creates the hot spot. Um, but <clears throat> this this does not create a hot spot at all. I mean, that feels solid. Forward position, reverse position, reverse back position, chopping position, precision cutting position. So now my S90V has a brand new look to it. And it is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Rips Tech. Rips Garage Tech. Sorry, RGT, Rips Garage Tech. RGT's website will be linked in the description. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, let me know in the description. I have other knives that could be done. Um, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking about actually, instead of doing fly taint, the, the fly tanium that I did in the last video, I was thinking about picking up another PM2, um, possibly doing the PM2 with titanium scales. Like I said, there is a little bit of difference in the weight, but that is the only negative, and that's not even a negative in my opinion. I, I actually don't mind the weight. The, everything is out of focus. No, everything is flush. Look at that. Look at, see how that's nice and recessed? I don't feel that anymore, which is nice. Everything is flush. There's no, I don't think those G10 scales were done 100% great. As much as I love Spyderco, and I think they're probably one of the best main production knife companies. I mean, obviously there are great companies that are non-like production, obviously, but, um, I think Spyderco is probably one of the best companies that does like mass production of knives. Um, and those G10 scales did not sit right on the knife. And I am so much more happy with how this thing looks. Look at that clip. I know it's a clip, but come on, that is beautiful. Let's see. Let's take out the, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's bring out my, uh, my microfiber. Let's see how this would look in the pocket. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's how it would look in your pocket. Now, really fast, side note. Don't think that that's a negative because here's the thing. When I when I go to work with this glove, like I said before, I have cut resistance gloves on with this. I have to grab it and, and this creates a pinch point so I can pull it out easier and then open it up. That is beautiful. I mean absolutely gorgeous okay guys links in the description like comment subscribe let me know what you think take care guys